A complete picture maker system typically contains several components. The computer system performs all calculations, runs the picture maker software, and controls all peripheral equipment. It consists of a system unit, a monitor, and a keyboard. The system unit contains the actual processor and provides the memory used when running the programs and building models. It houses a hard disk storage device, which enables us to store our programs, models, and images. The picture maker frame buffer can hold two images simultaneously and is attached to the computer system unit. The frame buffer creates video signals of our images. They can then be displayed on an RGB monitor. A data tablet may be used to trace artwork into the system and also to select commands controlling the picture maker software. In the videotape on picture maker configuration and troubleshooting, we will explain these components in more detail. If you have purchased a picture maker 30 for video animation, several additional video components are necessary. A sync generator creates the stable timing information used by the picture maker and the video recording equipment. The RS422 animation controller option for picture maker plugs into the computer and includes a sync generator. It connects to video tape recorders to direct the recording of the individual frames of animation created in the frame buffer. The video created by the frame buffer is in the form of separate red, green, and blue signals and must be processed by an encoder or transcoder before it can be recorded onto videotape. Several types of videotape recorders can be used with the picture maker system. The recorder receives the signals from the encoder or transcoder and records them to videotape on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. A composite video monitor allows us to view the images both before and after they have been recorded to ensure that they are of the quality we need. The components of a typical video animation system are discussed further in the tape Video Technology, Connections and Troubleshooting. If you intend to use your picture maker for slide production, you may require optional film recording equipment and software. Both analog medium resolution and digital high resolution film recording is supported by the picture maker. The videotape on slide and print output considerations discusses the film recording equipment and optional software. Also discussed in that tape is the use of plotters and inkjet printers to create hard copies of our images. There are several options available from within the Picture Maker user community, which can assist you in your production work. Independent companies offer services such as the recording of video animation from stored Picture Maker images and the recording of high resolution slides. Custom software programming and model building services are available. There's also a CubaComp users group, which offers a forum for sharing information and ideas. Now that we have introduced the main components in a picture maker system, let's take a look at the system software, starting with a quick guided tour of its menus. The picture maker is organized into a series of functional units. After you enter PM to start the system, the picture maker shell appears and lets you access the functional units from a menu. The menu will display these choices. Depending upon the type of two-dimensional paint package you have ordered, this menu may include the entry Color Map Paint instead of, or in addition to, True Color Paint. Taking them in order, these options include model building and manipulation of the three-dimensional world, two-dimensional painting, the construction of animation shot sheets to control the creation of animated sequences, and the automated generation and recording of the sequences. This order roughly corresponds to the order in which we produce animated graphics using the Picture Maker. Within the Picture Maker unit, we can use the Build, Title, Image, and Animate modules to interactively create models, control the appearance of their surfaces, use type fonts, and create the motion paths our objects will follow when we animate them. We can also use the system's command mode to access many of the less frequently used control functions of the system. Once a model has been built within the Picture Maker unit, the True Color or Color Map paint packages let us paint background images, 
retouch models, or create images to wrap around or apply to the surface of our models. These paint programs allow us to use the data tablet and the stylus or puck like a canvas and brush. We have complete control over colors, intensities, and the types of brushes we can use. Portions of images can be copied, moved, and even used as brushes themselves. Picture Maker's sequence unit gives us control over the way an animation is put together. Sequence lets us specify and then review how a series of images and moving models is to be combined into a finished animation. The sequence unit creates a master list of all the commands the system needs to generate each frame of the animation. The actual creation of the frames is done in the click unit. This part of the system takes the list of commands compiled in the sequence unit and renders or creates an image of each model in every position along a motion path. With Picture Maker's RS422 animation controller, you can make Click direct a videotape recorder to record the finished images automatically. Anytime you have a question about how the system is organized or about how a function is used, you can ask for help. Within most of the units, pressing the question mark will summon up for you a complete online documentation system. Several hundred pages of information are available at the touch of a key to explain how the system works. The help system has its own form of menu organization. Within help, you can access a glossary of terms. Listed in alphabetical order, this glossary includes all the commands used within the system and discussions of many of the concepts behind the operation of the picture maker. Typically, each help menu will include both general or overview information about a topic, as well as details on specific commands or functions. To get specific help on a topic,